Hi guys, this is Magali Darga. I'm here with Gabriel Andresen. Hi. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We're, we're delighted to be here. I heard you guys just arrived a few hours ago. Yep, four o'clock. I mean, we've only been here for a few hours already. So what happened? Uh, just, it, it takes a long time to fly from San Francisco to here. And we, got, we had a little problem with the weather in Japan, yeah. our stopover, so we had to stay there. Yeah, basically, and had to land. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So the plane ran out of gas yeah. at the wrong airport yeah. and there were wind. And so we had to land and then we had to wait another night and came yeah. here the day after. So. It, took a half, it took like a half a day just to figure it out. Yeah. Really, seriously. Like we waited in some crazy lines just to get here. From San Francisco just to Japan and then another eight hours to get here. But I hope you have time to enjoy it tonight. You'll be playing. Are you excited? Because I know so many people are excited to see you. We are so happy to be here yeah. and not in an airport. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that we've been able to play our classics only set here. Yes. And so I think that's going to that's um, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, you guys you guys have been through this like for how many years 15 now? Years. 15 years. How did it start it? It's it started by accident, really. Um, I had a remix project that I uh, was offered, and I knew Josh because I liked his music. Yeah. And I asked him if he would uh, if he would work on it with me, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll do it." <laughs> so you started it. And we just sort of took it from there. Mm. Uh huh. And then for 15 years, everything have been great between you two. Yeah, we, we, and then like 2008, we took a break for a little bit to go do our own things. And then 2011, we came back together and yeah, we're just. You guys want the best uh, American uh, producers yes. and DJs. Twice. Two times, right? 2007, 2008. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> she got the, she's got the data. <laughs> I so did, but. <laughs> but why, why is there a break? Where's your, where's your cheat sheet? Where's the, where's the oh, teleprompter? No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's just because we, we made some really big records back then, yeah. and, uh, and that was just a product of, of that era and those songs that people really identified with. And, and, and people liked our DJing, too, so... Uh, it so you can't complain about 2015. How, how, have been, how have it been going for you guys? It's been great because, like I said, we've been doing this classics only thing where we, we play our, our, the music we made, the remixes we made, and the music we played on our radio shows, and we play the whole night. So we play six, seven hours and uh, from the beginning of the club opening to the club closing. And it's a different experience, you know? These days, it's, you know, DJ sets have gotten so short and you can't really get into anything. And so we kind of wanted to go the other direction and play, control the whole night. So it's like a concert. Yeah, it's totally like a concert. And it's just sort of like, we, we always want to do whatever's opposite of what's happening right now. Yeah. So this was our version of the opposite of what's happening right now. <laughs> you know, we're going for the six hour set when everybody's trying to do the one and a half hour pre-recorded set. Wait, what's your secret for being able to go set after set, staying seven hours? What, what, what's your routine you know what to keep you healthy? It's love. It's love. It's love. Yeah, it's love. We love this. Yeah. We love de DJing. We love the music we play. And we love our fans yeah. and playing for them. So that's really what that keeps so it going. Love is the secret. Is there love. any other? We both, we both eat pretty healthy and yeah. exercise. And, you know, we try to keep as healthy as we can because it is demanding, you know? Yeah. But Indonesia, I smoke Kretex. You smoke what? I smoke Kretex. Oh, Kretek. Yeah. Oh, Kretek. Kretek. Did you like it? I love them. Yeah. Yeah, every time I come here, I smoke them. He looks legal in America. So oh, really? Yeah, so he looks forward every time he comes to get his Kretex. Why is Kretek and like the, you know, the Kinder Bueno, the French uh, chocolate, why are they legal in America? Why are they legal or illegal? Illegal. I don't think the Kinder Bueno is illegal, but, but Kretek is illegal, I think, because they taste good. And they don't want cigarettes that taste good. <laughs> here's, what, here's, what, here's what they said. They, the American government said flavored cigarettes get young kids to smoke. Oh, because so it's they, sweet. Yeah, so, so they... Uh, it's, it's really, all it is is 
that's the, the, the cigarette companies wanting to protect their business because it's yeah. obviously not really true. <laughs> it's, they do it. Philip yeah. Philip Morris was not about getting in the protect business in America, so yeah. they, they outlawed it. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Um, we want to know about 2016. What, what, what are we waiting for? Like, you know what? what are we looking Here's for? What, it's a rebirth. We're going to throw the co classics only concept away. We're going to reinvent the wheel mm. in a cool way and come out with some awesome songs. And, and really, that's what it's all about. It's always been about making awesome songs that people remember and identify with. And, and production wise, you know, it's a challenge. Uh, technology changes all the time and um, you know I got my first synthesizer in 1981 so it's like I've seen things come and go and come and go and yeah. come and go and and right now we're at an age where a lot of producers are using presets and software that everybody can get so as a result you hear it a lot of music sounds very similar ghost producer <laughs> a lot of ghost producers yeah. using presets and, uh, <laughs> and and so you know, it, it's, this year is also about trying to figure out, you know, we got caught up in that too. And this year is about trying to figure out how to get back to who we are and really just make music from the heart, you know? That's amazing. And that's, and that's really what Classics Only was, is a reset button. We just pressed the reset button. And started all over yeah, again. Yeah, it's just <laughs> you know, it's weird. We, we didn't know what, we thought it was gonna be a bunch of our older fans coming back to the club, yeah. but it wasn't. It, it that in fact, was a whole new generation of people that have never seen us play live, yeah. but either they listen to us on the internet or their brother or sister or even their mother or father yeah. used to listen to us. Yeah. Siesto's old CDs and like saw that like a lot of G&D music is on them and. Oh, that's amazing.